totally getting into... with you on that. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to be getting right into our top eight. Going to get uh, Deja, Deja, and Final Boss. Should be very interesting. Obviously, we got a Kirby and Bowser going on here. Uh, so the immediate, obviously, when you look at this, it's Bowser is just really good, very fast, has a lot of strong buttons, uh, has that tough guy armor as well. So it's uh, you look at it like, obviously, Bowser is a much better character here. But Deja has a way of playing Kirby that is just absolutely destructive for a lot of people um presses a lot of really good buttons <laughs> that's what it really comes down to combo game is absolutely on point and that's something they like to do there too they like to use that uh that final cutter i think that's what it's called yes uh, they like to correct. use that pretty pretty often and it works out very well but not well enough as a uh, final boss is going to be able to land that back and take that first stock all right here we go Oh, that's a stock before the minute mark, too, so good stuff. But we're going to see j Dot trying to go for some jank there. Not going to be able to get it going, though. And going to eat uh, quite a bit of damage from that flamethrower just for their trouble. Final boss off to a very hot start here. Already taking a stock. And now nearly overlapping percentage. There it is. Uh, j Dot has definitely got a lot of ground to cover here. Um, see what they can get going. But right now, it's looking kind of rough. Final boss is absolutely smothering them right now. All right, just a little bit of combo starter, but final boss gonna land with that flamethrower just to kind of get the extra damage. And another back air, not gonna be enough to do it. But geez, I mean, the forward air will be final boss off to a very hot start, only taking eighty five percent so far, and up three to one stocks. Man, this is uh, kind of dangerous right now. And this is Bowser without rage too. That's the other thing to keep in mind. So you're definitely you gotta keep in mind that like. This is Bowser, heaviest character in the game, kill power like an absolute god, taking on uh, one of the lightest characters in the game. But we're going to see some of that rage starting to kick up here a little bit as Bowser gets into 121. Oh, what a beautiful tech, though! It does not matter as JJ's going to get that down smash to secure that first stock, finally. Um, this game might just, the rest of this game might just be data for JJ. Uh, but it could very well do it. Kirby's got a lot of jank, and here we go. We're going to be getting some of those combos and not going to be able to get the down air. Oh, a back air from Final Boss going to send JJ in a very weird position. And you know what? It's a one-stop game. <laughs> so good stuff uh, from JJ. At least making it a bit more competitive. Um, that was definitely a very, very rough start. And that's just one of, th one of those things from Bowser. He can snowball so effectively off of the fact that, like, he gets a couple of hits, gets a stock off of, like, three hits, and then all of a sudden it happens again. And then you just kind of, like, you're like, what do I do? Like, this, is, this guy's way too strong. He, he's way too heavy, and you just can't get any of your combo game on him, despite him being one of the biggest bodies in the game. So we'll see how JJ can recover in game two and see if they can turn things around a little bit. Okay, cool. Sorry, everybody. I'm, I'm here I'm here with the skiff, and I'm just making troubleshooting some audio. <laughs> Not audio issues on my end, but just some things on my end on the receiving side. Oh, yeah. Good nah, you good, you good. Um, I, w I want to say, how do you feel the matchup is between Kirby and Bowser? Because I talked a little bit about it. I couldn't hear you because I had to hear you. When I look at Kirby as a character, the character has some stuff, but I feel like when you see Kirby approach, you can easily tell what, what's going on, right? Right, right, right. Um, you, you can, and it's like Kirby does have certain, like, combo games that, like, he works really well off of. But the thing is, is that, like, all of his hitboxes are just his body. He doesn't really have many disjoints, if anything. But, I mean, you do get the combo game right there. Like, once you're able to actually get in on, on a, a character, especially someone as big as Bowser, Kirby can just really pile on that damage and just kind of get a, a pretty heavy, hefty combo game going. But I think part of the problem here is that, like, so Kirby, oh, that's some unfortunate air dodge. Not going to be able to make it back. But, again, a uh, very good start from JJ here. But I think part of the uh, the problem here, when looking at this at face value, is that normally smaller characters are faster, right? And the bigger characters are slower. But when, in this situation, uh, Bowser is actually quite a bit faster than Kirby in both the uh, the air and the ground. <laughs> that's a so it's kind of a... About, yeah, I was going to say, sorry to cut you off there, but, like, the scary thing about Bowser in this game and every other heavy in this game is they have a frame 3 jump spot and Bowser is actually really fast at this So he actually has the speed to kind of uh, contest and oppress Kirby a little bit in terms of like, okay, if you think you're going to roll into me, I get you, I have enough knock back and you're light enough to bring it to die at home. Right, right, right. I mean, it's just, it's just kind of the nature of the beast. Bowser, obviously a high tier character, very, very good. Uh, does struggle in some matchups here. And one of those things that Bowser kind of particularly struggles against is what we saw in the opening here from JJ is that he really heavy combo game. Oh, okay, gotta be able to make it back, no problem. 
But man, that was a little scary. Uh, we got final boss sitting at 141. The backer not going to be enough, but if he can land this Nair, never mind. He's actually going to go for that instead. And Bowser's going to respond back with a uh, downward moving move of their own, I guess. It's the best way I can word it. <laughs> Oh, good use of the final player. It's got some range, and also never forget that it has a little bit of a hitbox that goes outward. It's really, it's really oh. solid to come out from the curve, but unfortunately that anti also will take care of that. That puts the little boss pretty much at a slot deficit here at 1 to Okay. Very good. No, that was very good. So one of the things that like a lot of characters who can struggle to kill, uh, really struggle with, is the fact that Bowser sometimes just will not die. And if you just cannot find your options, it just keeps going. But right now, man, JJ off to a hot start here in these final stocks. Getting 101, but you gotta keep in mind, Bowser does not care that they're only at 100%. He can easily live 200. But JJ gonna get that final cutter to build up a little bit more damage, but the forward tilt, now he's in a very tough spot off stage. And gonna be able to make it back to the ledge, no problem. Oh, <laughs> he tried getting the down smash, not gonna be able to connect. Yeah, okay, look like Jake is looking for that sneak back air. It's actually, it's a very powerful back air. If you're not aware of it, like, it's got some great knockback. Been here on the down throw with the clip, Pomo gets, that gets final boss off the stage here. I like that dash attack. As last two boxes here to kind of tell the final boss, and the final cutter to get, to get away from the uh, final boss as soon as he really gets Yeah. Uh, that's something so I think it was him and I think Ice Killer have talked about recently. Um, that final cutter, it, it's actually really not a bad tool, tool in neutral. He goes up and down pretty quick. It's a very active hitbox. And even if you drift back, it's got that projectile like like you've mentioned. And it's not like there's a whole lot of end lag. And that's going to be it with the down air, though. <laughs> JJ uh, is going to catch him slipping underneath the stage and going to get that spike. Super good stuff. Going to even that up one apiece. Yeah, one a piece indeed here, and then good stuff to JJ. Of course, this is winter semi, so they still have one more to go for here. We're gonna see how they're able to handle it on the next match. All right, uh, yeah, but good, super good stuff. It is one a piece, final boss, and JJ. We will get that score updated in just a second. No worries. Yeah, I believe it's I believe it's two one, correct? Or am I wrong? Is it one one? It's one one. Oh, one one. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right, here we go, right back to PS2. This is where we saw game one and uh, final boss really turned it up here. Saw him go for that early 3-1 stock lead, and then JJ kind of worked hard. Uh, ended up ending the game with a final cutter spike, uh, even though they died off of it. You know, one stock the game ain't, ain't too bad. And here we go, man. These final cutters is one right after the other. Yeah, I could definitely see why they said about well, how it's good in the neutral, too. It's definitely one of those moves that, like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I can't even finish my explanation here. JJ did not take that spot with the spike from the final cutter at the very end. Yeah, no, I, I think this is a good, though. I mean, especially after you see a game one where a player kind of gets dominated uh, that bad. It just kind of seems to come back to that game two. And this game a three now looking super good. Uh, getting some good damage here. Trying to go for the uh, the gimp there with the, <laughs> the, the inhale. Not going to be able to get it. Man, these final cutters are putting in work, though. Got to oh, get a little bit of health in that fire, too. Thank you. Oh, I was going to say, man. I just noticed that he actually was able to inhale the fire for a little bit of heals there and gets another final cutter. It's really good, too, because the way that you see final boss kind of approach the end sometimes, it's a good call-out on JJ JJ's part. Sorry for the names right there. I know they're backwards, but they switched on me, so here we are with correct names now. Right? There you go. <laughs> but good stuff from final boss there. Catching JJ with the forward tilt. Good back here. JJ continuing to put on the pressure. Great tech, though, but not going to be able to get the second tech as the back here closes out that second stock. JJ with a very, very solid lead right now. Here we go. The, the forward airs into the grabs. <laughs> Just putting on a good 47%. Oh, that was a very dangerous spot to be in. Final boss could have just been down aired there to secure the game. Fortunately for them, they were going to be able to make it back to the stage, no problem. Oh, got the B reverse. <laughs> 
Oh, good directional air dodge and the cross up with it as well. And oh, that's the spike. That's, that's it. it. That's it. Oh, oh, wow. Never mind. That's it. <laughs> no. Oh, wait, it is. No, he saved it. He wants to play with his food, man. He says, you know what? I, I got you for two more games in this ring, man. I'm trying to have extra nah. fun here. Nah, dude. You don't want to do that. Finish your food because it will come back to bite you if you are not careful. <laughs> oh, especially with Bowser, like you said. Oh, uh, now you gotta. You, yeah. yeah, now you gotta rage Bowser to deal with on your final stock here. So you better hope that they don't get their combos going because that is just a tough spot to be in. <laughs> Day job, you gotta be careful. It could all fall apart. All right, good in there. Nice, good use of that multiple jumps there. And the final down special to seal the deal. That chest held all the treasures to that victory on that game here. JJ oh, moving up 2 1 now. Yeah, no, uh, <laughs> Gage definitely uh, went for some crazy stuff there, almost threw the game away, but they were able to kind of uh, reel in the, <laughs> the craziness and just be able to secure that game three, moving it to a game four after a rough start, dropping that game one. Um, not looking in prime position to take it three games in a row. I'm looking at I'm that Kirby Fires practice. Hey, I'm looking at that in the chat right now. Good stuff. All right. Here we go. We're going to be getting in to our potential final game. Depending on what final R or final bluff has to say about that. No, oh, I said final R. <laughs> Well, this is Final Boss here, and he actually doesn't... Let's see if he can live true to his name. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Final Boss is the same player who used to live back in SoCal at a time. He was actually... I, I think he's ranked in offline in Smash 4 from what I remember, but... Not too sure. I know there was Final Boss and a couple of the Bowser mains that were really good in SoCal back in the day. And man, what a good little uh, combo there from JJ. Just really pushed the final boss right off to the stage and just really to the edge of the stage in general. Just continuing to pile on this damage of up to 100 now. It's putting down so much pressure and going to be able to get that forward smash to take out that first stock. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice, good, good patience, good patience. Usually an opponent will pa panic for that, especially when they're at the corner. Jeja with the final cutter, obviously also hitting the shield on the way up and down. Great opportunity to see, you know what, your Adam Legend visibility. I can take care of that here, but finally Kirby gets back on the stage. Uh, it's kind of crazy how much uh, final cutter can just kind of get through that point, though. Uh, that's actually really nice, very convenient. We actually saw it hit final boss through the stage earlier and kind of come out of the fire breath, so Kirby didn't have to worry about that much. But here we go. That's going to be able to take that stock out. Absolutely going to get that flying slam. Yeah, I was going to say, the one thing Kirby will have to worry about is actually being pretty relatively light and then that Bowser Bomb will kill at those percents. Versus a couple characters that are much more midway that can survive that a little bit longer here. Nonetheless, I do like that Jeja is always aware of the fact that Kirby's backer is great with the knockback, so he's always trying to set up those multiple jumps to either find the back air, call it an aerial with the forward air, or go for a down air. Here we go, gonna see that back throw, gonna put Bowser off stage. This is what JJ wants. Gonna go for that down air once again, not gonna be able to get it. Final R making it. Why do I keep saying final R? Final boss. <laughs> making a pretty good stand here right now. It has the lead from here, gonna get some of that flamethrower going on. JJ not gonna be able to make it back. All of a sudden, final boss is in the driver's seat. Yeah, 99 to that zero, like you said, right? One of the scariest things to deal with is Rage Bowser, especially if you're Kirby. Good jump out of the shield here. Gonna trade spaces and take much more of center stage. Yep, and gonna be getting a bit of a damage right there. Now, pulling up out 69 while Fawn Boss sitting on the second stock. Gonna trade back here. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. Gonna get that trade into the forward air and the flamethrower and the back air. Well, they close that stock out. Jaja kind of playing in a good spot here right now, but you're sitting at 97. percent You're going against Bowser. This is going to be for about 47.50. Ooh, nice combo there. Ooh. Ooh. 
Nice, try to get that pivot grab. You know how good range that Bowser's pivot grab can be. And great forward air once again. Like you said, a final boss definitely in the gutter. So this Kirby at 120. An area at any side of the stage can take care of it. I like the patience looking to get the down tilt to actually get the opportunity before Kirby can grab the ledge here. Well, and this could be anybody's game from here. Oh, <laughs> read the air dodge onto the stage. Didn't get the grab to get the extra bonus. The dash attack not going to be able to clip. Oh, this is scary, man. Uh, oh, that's, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Gonna blow up Kirby. Uh, we see Final Boss take that game board and forth. A game five situation. He had that little bit of extra rage. But Kirby said about 150. That's a dead Kirby. Oh, most definitely. That's kind of one of the scary things, like you said, right? When Bowser has rage, it's almost like he's not even out of the game. It's actually way more scary to deal with Bowser with rage than without rage. It's more about, I feel like, if the better you can give Bowser, the less you'll have to worry about Bowser being in rage for sure. Uh huh. Yeah, no, like Bowser rage is almost like <laughs> it's almost as scary as like R seven sometimes. Because like for one, Bowser just won't die. <laughs> but then like he just gonna keep getting back to stage. He's got quick moves. A lot of them can kill that forward air as fast as hell and oh, can yeah. kill it like, crazy percentages sometimes. And you're adding like um, rage into that. That's that's a bad time. All right, well, let's go here into game five, the final game founder, but final boss, something up to this game, right? He's not going to let Jeja Jeja get as far as possible. So we'll see how things go here. This is game five here of winner's semis. One will move up to winner's final, which is typically where you want to be, right? To have that extra game. Right? We'll see if the, one of these guys is going to face up against Ripples and Mr. Brody. Yeah, for sure. I mean, oh, we saw Rick Rickle got in the top eight. Let's go. Shout out to my co-caster, the juice box. But right now, oh, I'm getting a scary spot there. Final boss not going to get spiked, which I thought could have been coming around the corner. But uh, yeah, fortunately, going to be able to get back on the stage. But JJ continue with the pressure. And you know, I think that might be part of what he wants here. He wants that wall scenario so he can find ways to kind of like get that down there more consistently. Yeah, nice order here. This puts final boss at a really cool spot and a great execution with the down special. Remember, guys, if you actually try to do that, you can cancel. You have to get into the right frame. So it's a little bit of a, I wouldn't say tricky learning, but there's some things to be learned. And a great gimp indeed. Look at that from Jeja Jeja. Still able to recover all the way from the depths. Yeah, that's what Jeja was looking for. They tried going for it. Tried going for it a few times now and finally able to get it working. I mean, that's just some good stuff. <laughs> Oh, what a trick. What a, what, a, what a trick from Final Boss. He wanted to scare him off the side of the stage. And then instead he said, you know what? I don't want to get possibly gimped again, so I'm going to come back on the stage. And this is more on Jedi. There's a good forward edge here. Final Boss is oh, that's that it. jump, but that is oh, no. a gimp. Oh, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. He's got no jump, though. Oh, he missed oh. the down smash again. But you know what? I think jedi has got this pretty, uh, pretty solidly. It, it, it's, it's, it's in hand, you know? Um, <laughs> And he's got all this damage. He's got all this pressure going on. He's already in that. Got that mental game, getting the uh, the inhale on the the foot stool and stuff. So I mean, I think this game might be over. But again, you still have a Bowser of Rage. Very true indeed. Here, this could be the full down throw. Nice. And that sets up with Bowser off the stage. Good opportunity here for Jedi. Jedi, no way. Okay. This percent. I don't have to go for anything crazy like a forward throw, but I will go for the sword on the shield. There is this. Okay. I'm, I was going to say. I want to see how he's going to handle the off stage here. <laughs> Here's this is the problem though. Bowser won't die. Ooh, okay, that was crazy. I didn't know the hitbox went straight up like that. But um, yeah, right now JJ, yep, that's it. I was, it's just a matter of time. Really. I mean, this, his Kirby's been all over the place. It's a constant moving hitbox. It was only a matter of time till final boss kind of just took that hit and just ended up blasting off. Yeah, most definitely. I think JJ JJ did a really good job understanding like his ability to use Kirby as a tool. I mean, Kirby is one of those characters that. We may not see a lot of representation, but when I think of a few of them, I'm either thinking Ron from Japan or Jeja Jeja. And this is actually a character that recently got buffed as of the last patch. So definitely going to be one of those great characters to, if you want to have matchup obscurity, you're definitely going to be getting that with Kirby for sure. Right, right, right. Man, what up? What a good, uh, good turnaround from JJ, and then a final stand from Final Boss as well in that game four. So like, it looked it looked solidly in JJ's favor, especially after that game one going into game two, right? It just looked like that was going to be it. 